Hi, I'm Anthony Dove, and I'm an assistant professor in math and statistics here at Radford University. I just want to take a minute to explain why I flip my classes and why I put all this effort into helping make the Flipped Institute become a reality here at Radford. I taught uh, middle school and high school for five years, and in mathematics, we know that engagement and collaboration are important to helping students truly learn the material, not just be able to pass a test, but be able to and take that knowledge and, and build a deeper understanding of the material. But it's tough. Uh, I think about the content that we have to cover and the speed that we're often expected to cover that, and it's difficult to get it all covered while creating those collaborative, engaging environments. And it often makes many professors and teachers in K-12 as well fall back on using more direct instruction. Even when I was teaching, there were times, especially at some of the classes like Algebra 2 and Pre-Calculus, where I would see myself falling more into that uh, direct instruction followed by practice, followed by direct instruction, and I wanted to break that and wasn't necessarily sure how. Now, move forward to when I was doing my PhD, a lot of my work was in providing professional development for high school teachers, and we would bring in innovations using programs like uh, dynamic geometry and and other interactive activities using technology and teachers would still have that same struggle hey I've got to cover this material how do you want me to integrate these activities that take uh, probably as much time as I would need to cover a class just lecturing and it made me think about well, how can I help these teachers more and so I, I talked a lot with Lodge about this because we were working together at NC State and he started piloting uh, with a math 8 teacher both Algebra 1 and Math 8, this idea of flipping the class. And I watched what they were doing and everything started to make sense. The idea of, of flipping and removing that lecture so that we could do those activities in class made tremendous sense to me. I can actually do those activities. I can integrate the technology, the things that build conceptual understanding in my class, and I can help my students in class when they truly need the help. And from that moment on, I became a large proponent of flipping the class and I would actually go through do more professional development almost more around flipping with my teachers than even some of the technologies because I'm like if I can get them to flip how they're teaching I can then show them hey you've got to fill this time well how do we fill it in an effective and, and engaging manner for our students so when I started teaching undergraduate statistics at community college I flipped the class and even in my first semester I had some of the the highest ratings uh, for testing on every single common test that we had. When I came here to Radford, I've been flipping the class almost every single class that I've taught, and I've, I've had the results showing through my research that it has made a difference with teachers' anx with anxiety and even with achievement. And so my success has made me want to help others find ways to flip for their own specific classes, which is why I wanted to do this institute. Now flipping is going to look different from class to class, and I completely understand that, but I think it's a matter of thinking through what it is we want to teach our students, and how can we do that in the most effective manner, and how might the idea of integrating um, multimedia outside of class and re-engaging students in class, how can we use that to most efficiently use our time and to help our students take responsibility for our learning, which is something I know talking with many other professors here, has become something that we really care about and want to refocus uh, so that our students can take control of their learning and truly grow not only as students but as lifelong learners.